Good morning, friends. I hope you're doing fine. We thank God for this wonderful morning. As we're going to learn from His Word, may He guide us in all so that we can be able to obtain something for our lives. But before we start, let us humble ourselves for a word of prayer. Father Lord, we thank you for this wonderful morning. As you're going to learn from your, your word, may you, your Holy Spirit come and guide us in all. In Jesus' is name of prayer. Amen. The memory text is going to come from the book of First John, chapter 5, verse 14. Now is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And it's a wonderful verse because it gives us confidence and also hope that if we ask anything, quote the word anything, according to his will, he hears us. That means he's a wonderful God. So, most of the times we've heard this word, his will, my will, is out of my will. What is good is will. Seek ye the kingdom of God. Many things. And we, we see that his will, he has shown us his will he, through his commandments. The word of God shows us how we ought to, to, to move. So it is if it's according to how he commanded us to move, then it is his will. If it happens in a time that he wishes, Things happen to our lives or he grants us according to his will. Because, because what? We need to know why. He gives us the things he gives us. And we see in the book of Genesis that God, the Godhead, they decided that let us make man in our own in our image. That means we are created in God's image. And when we read in Isaiah 43, verse 1 says, But, but now says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he, and he who formed you, O Israel. This is something that really confirms it that God created us. And he formed us. And why should we seek his will? First of all, he's our creator. He created us. And we see that he formed us. And this one is clearly shown in the book of Psalms 139 verse 1. And it says, O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my raising up. You understand my thought afar off, afar off. You comprehend my path and my lying down. And you are acquainted with all my ways. The reason why we need to seek God's will because he knows us. There is something interesting I saw here that in verse 7, where can I go from your spirit or where can I flee from your presence? It shows that there, there is nowhere we can go where God does not see us or where God does not know. Something interesting also said uh, comes in verse 13 which says that you have formed my inward parts, you have covered me in my mother's womb. This is something interesting. Imagine the president of Uganda, because it's something maybe we can relate to, coming in your village and he calls you by your name. Oh, he says that I knew you. Of course, he can't know you that before you were born, because he's human, 
it is only left to God. But God is saying that even when you are being formed in your mother's womb, He covered you. That means God knows us very well. So if God knows us, then He knows what is best for us. And it is our duty to surrender to Him because He's all knowing. There is a verse in Isaiah 40, uh, starting from 27. When someone was complaining and he was like, my way is hidden from the Lord and my just claim is passed over by my God. Like everything God does not see it. And God is like, have, have you known, have you had the everlasting king, the creator of the ends of the earth never worries, no friends. God does not worry. And he tells us in the same book that his thoughts are not our thoughts, they are higher. So, we need to seek his will because he knows us, he knew us before we are born. And his thoughts are not our thoughts. And in Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I alone know the plans I think towards you. Plans to give you a future that you hope for. That means that before even we always make plans, just like this year, we are going, we, we, are, we are ending it. But I know most of us made plans. I'll do this, I'll accomplish this, I'll reach this. But think about God having your plans. So why not trust Him so that He can give you according to His will? Most of the times we pray when we are seeking God is way. Most of the times we say this thing, just like in the Lord's Prayer, that may your will be done on earth. But most of the times it's not what we are thinking about. So, as we look to this topic, as we are seeing God's will, and we shall be seeing even other portraits on how they are able to seek God's will. And we sh at the end of it all, we shall know that God's will is always the best for us. And our part is to humble ourselves and accept it. Accepting it was also another thing. And also waiting on God's will. Waiting on the Lord. Waiting patiently on the Lord is something that we need in a generation where everything we, we, we hope for, we, we just wanted it immediately. So may God help us as we trust him. Because if by the time you have confidence in something, it's, it seems that you were acquainted with it. So may God help us to listen to his word or to his way speaking to us. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you so much for this wonderful morning. And you've shown us that you created us. You made us in your image. We've seen that there is nowhere we can go where you're not there. So, Father Lord, help us to humble ourselves, our hearts. Let us know that you're God who wishes us good so that before we do anything, we always know from you. Father, continue to be with us through this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.